strengths of a PDA is its expandability. So joining me today is Dave Ciccone from davescompactipack.com, and he'll be showing us two attachments for the Pocket BC. And on his side, flanking him, is Han Choi from Tech TV Labs, and he's going to be showing us two attachments for a palm-based uh, handspring visor. You've got uh, the similar type of attachments for that platform. Absolutely. So gentlemen, start your PDAs. Let's, let's begin by talking about digital camera add-ons. Great. What do you got, Dave? Uh, this is a compact iPad, pocket PC, with a, an expansion card that slides into the iPad and gives you the capability, which I'll show, of taking a digital picture. Oh, wow. Just by pressing the button right here. And it just saves the picture. And now, it just saves the picture. What kind of resolution is that picture in? 800 by 600. Well, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's decent, and I, I, I emphasize decent. It's not high quality stuff. Okay. Now, where is that picture actually stored on the unit? You, it actually will be stored on the actual iPad itself on the internal memory. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Now, how much does that camera add-on run? This camera add-on goes for around $200. Are people actually buying that stuff? Or? Yeah, it's been out for two weeks now, so it's kind of iffy-iffy where we're going to stand on how many they're going to move. But from what I'm seeing, there's a lot of demand for a camera for the iPad. Okay. What about uh, Han? What do you got for the handspring there? I have the iModule 2. Okay. And basically, it's just a, this little module here. The nice thing about the visor and the, is the fact that you can just plug it in, loads all the, you know, the core software. It doesn't install everything but the core software, so you can turn it into a camera. Now, I'm looking at the sky here, so oh, there <laughs> we go. So, unfortunately, you have to actually turn it this way to actually take a picture. So I'll take a picture. Oh, it doesn't swivel around. It doesn't swivel, so you have to actually aim it. So I'm targeting. There we go. We got a picture there now. Um, now, what you can do with this, which is really nice, is there's an application. I haven't installed it, but you can take a picture of someone's face and attach it to a, some, a contact in your address book. Oh. Which is good because I am terrible. I don't recognize anybody. <laughs> so you Who carry you? a camera around. I forget. Who are you? Hey, <laughs> so, someone's so pulled that, that on the show before. Yeah, ex exactly. So th that's really a nice feature. And um, it's, it's 640 by 480, so it's definitely more for the web. And it'll do video as well, small video clips. Holds about 50 pictures in the internal memory. And how much does that thing run? It's 150 bucks. Okay. Now that it's a springboard module, it's only a springboard available. Module. It, it's only for the visor uh, series. Okay. Moving along, let's talk about mobile communications. This it looks like you have a cell phone sleeve for the iPad there. Yeah, actually, this is new. It'll be available in June by Compact, and it is a GPRS GSM phone sleeve for okay. the iPad itself. And it, it basically it turns your iPad into a cell phone of sorts? Yeah. Uh, and you right can make here. real calls. Real good calls, uh, crisp, clear calls. Right now, Voice Stream is providing the network. Okay. You have your earpiece right here. You make your phone calls. Huh. Nice thing is, if you look at the unit here, you have your dial pad. Okay. And you can see, uh, make a phone call. Now, it's not just for phone calls too, but you can like surf the web yeah, wirelessly too. Yeah, that's the greatest too? part about it. I can make a phone call and then surf the internet at around 20 to 48 kilobits per second, which is almost like a 28A tool. A little faster than a 28 modem. That's not bad for wireless. Not bad for wireless in the small screen. Does it, do you just buy the, the, the add-on, or do you have to buy a service with it, too? Yeah, you have to buy a service, and you need to buy the sleeve itself. The sleeve is going right now for around $399. It's, Ooh. it's steep. Is it out yet? It's not out. In June, we'll have it out. But again, um, it is a steep step, but it, it's for the, the, the professional who really needs everything in one unit that yeah. already has an iPad. Oh, wow. Okay, Han, do you have a, an alternative for the uh, the Palm platforms? I have the Trio. This has gotten rave reviews, and we like it a lot because it, it has, actually, the biggest thing is the keyboard, the oh, little QWERTY yeah. keyboard for messaging. If you're into SMS messaging and things like that, it makes it a lot easier to do than, come on, those number pads. I don't know how <laughs> people do it. I still haven't gotten used to it. But uh, in Palm OS, it's got 16 megabytes of memory. Um, right now, it doesn't have... GPRS, that's going to be a software upgrade later because now, it is still rolling out. Could you explain what GPRS is to well, people? It's general packet radio service. Basically, it's going to be packet based. So instead, right now, you're actually making a secret phone call in the background to actually dial up to get the data connection. GPRS gets rid of that. So now you're always on. Oh, okay. You're basically, it, you go to the browser and it, you're connected. So it's always on. Exactly. Okay, that's the biggest difference. And the speed is the other issue. Okay. That, um, but this one isn't, uh, doesn't have it right now, but uh, it will, there is a software upgrade coming down the road. Do you like it? It's nice. For, compared to the other Palm-based you know, hybrid devices we've seen in the past, it's a lot smaller. The, I, got, I love that keyboard. I'm going to keep saying that. I love that keyboard. <laughs> How much does it run? It's 400 bucks with service. Oh, okay. Um, so it, it is definitely on the pricey side. There are you know, a few things. The battery's not removable. You can't replace it. Oh. So little, little things, but still it's a big step for the Palm. All right. And well, I like it. It's good to see these options are out there. Oh, it's, uh, there's tons of stuff out there. Great. Well, thank you, Han.
Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, for more information about Compact's iPack, be sure to check out Dave's website. He's got a boatload of information to satisfy any present or future iPack owner. And he's been watching the show for a while. I remember one time, uh, Kat did some Photoshop stuff, and you actually yeah. sent one in. We got it on the show right there that That's day. That's correct. That was very cool. Thank you, Dave. And of course, if you'd like to know more about tricking out your PDA, whether it's palm-based or pocket PC-based, be sure to check out techtv.com slash call for help. Up next, the wired...